So you want to know how to ride a motorcycle. Okay. Throttle Games has got you. So let's hop right into it. I get so many questions. Hey, Mr. Throttle Gaines, how did you learn to ride a motorcycle? Ah, I get those questions like literally every other day. And I always have to explain to people, well, I learned off the YouTube. The YouTube makes you sound old and shit. The YouTube. Learned off YouTube, motherfuckers. That's what I tell people. And they kind of look at me with some face like, what? And so I'm like, you know what? From now on, I'm just going to link him this video and just have him watch it. And then they'll be like, oh, wow. Wow, okay, I get it. Oh, oh. So that's what I'm going to do, basically. So beings that I learned on YouTube, uh, I feel like I can return the favor. I feel like I should return the favor to the platform that taught me to learn and you know maybe someone will stumble across this video and it'll help them learn so without further ado let's get into it okay so before I teach you anything about how to ride a motorcycle I gotta teach you the basics first now on the left hand side we have the clutch right here and this is the clutch the clutch lever that you use to shift gears and all that good stuff and on the bottom of the left hand side we have the gear shifter. This is what you use to shift up and down from gears. I'll go in more in depth about this later on. On the right hand side we have the brake. This is the front brake and we have on the bottom right hand side we have the rear brake. Now once again I'll go in more in depth in another video or maybe this video about how to properly apply pressure to both of those brakes at the same time to properly slow down. Now, um, First thing to know about a motorcycle, about or first thing to know about this motorcycle, I don't really recommend people to start off on this kind of bike, being that it is a sexy S750 and a 750. What the hell? 750 has way too much power in it. So for anyone starting off, um, 600, yeah, you probably can, but it's gonna be you gotta baby it. Maybe an older 600 you'd be okay, but for a 750. I usually don't recommend people starting on it whatsoever because it's it's uh it's pretty intense. But I love it though. Oh, love you, girl. Enjoy so. Uh. Okay, so back to the video. Now, the main controls on this whole type of a uh, instrument cluster everywhere they need to know is basically this: the kill switch. This tur this primes the fuel pump, and without it, you can't turn on the bike. Um, and this is how to turn on the bike: this little button right here. And here is change your uh, signals and stuff like that. Lane change. Here's a dinky little horn that you probably never use. High beam or high beams, low beams, emergency lights, and it's like a little flasher blinker thing that I think only Jixos have this, but I don't use it. But whatever. So doesn't matter. Now back to the left hand side. As far as the gear shifter goes, my bike is really dirty. Fuck it, I was riding in the rain. It's okay. Anyway, so as far as the gear shifter goes, it goes basically one, and then it goes neutral, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, the thing about that is, think of neutral, it's between gear one and between gear two. So, basically, every bike starts off in neutral. When you park a bike, or when you're at a stoplight, most people are in neutral, because that's where you can just fully let the clutch out and you can just chill when the bike's in neutral. Now, to take off, you would want to squeeze this, squeeze the clutch in and you would want to shift, you want to click down, because once you click down, that's when you're in first gear. Like I said, that's why I think of neutral as between gear one and gear two, basically. Think of neutral right in that little prime spot. So in order to take off, you want to start in first gear. So you would want to click down so to make you in, get into first gear, basically. Now, to click up to second gear, you just click up, that's it. But if you're when you get back to neutral, it's what's called a half a click, or I just say like a gentle click. You can be you feel it in your toe when you click up. You can when you're in first gear, you do half a little click up, a tiny little boop up, and bam, you'll see the bike will stop. So basically, let me give you a prime example. So turning on the motorcycle, basically all you do it's very simple. Like I said, um, we'll start it off without this on. Now you can go ahead and just fuck the fuck there we go just turn the key and as you can see you have the gauge you have all the good stuff and then to actually want, but if you were to hit the power see doesn't do anything at all so that's we gotta prime it first and makes a little noise and only for jixers i don't know why it's like a safety mechanism they have you 
squeeze the clutch in and then click it because if you try to click it without it, it's, it's not going to start. It makes you squeeze the clutch in and then you can start. So basically, so now that the bike is on, as you can see, this in means that the bike is in neutral. So that means it's not, as you can see, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to, like the clutch is let out, it's not going to go anywhere. So if I were to take the bike and pop it into first gear, which like I said is a full click down, as you see, now if I was to let the clutch out slowly, the bike is moving. The bike is moving. The bike is moving. So, if you want to click back up to go back into neutral, all it is is just a half. It's a gentle click. It's, it's a gentle click up. So it's like little. It's a little. Oh shit! I went to second gear. There you go. It's a gentle. And then now, if I let go, the bike's not going anywhere because it's a neutral again. So that's basically how that goes. So let me give you a more in-depth example when we on the bike now. Once you're on the motorcycle, like I said, you want to squeeze this in and you want to click down because now you're in first gear and that's so you know the end disappears. Now, to take off on a motorcycle, let me just back up a little bit. To take off on a motorcycle, you have to find what's called a friction zone. The friction zone basically is when you let this out, that little point of where it engages the clutch to where the engine starts moving. Now, like I said, as long as you have this squeezed in, the bike's not going to go anywhere. If it's in first gear and you have this, the clutch squeezed in, the bike's not going to go anywhere. But the longer, or the more you let it out, see my hand, then the bike will start to move. So, the trick on how to starting off in first gear, which is going to be the hardest part to start off, but after that, it's easy. You have to give a little bit of throttle and let the clutch out at the same time. Now, the, when you know to, get, to, to throttle in, basically, is like I said, that friction zone. Once you feel the bike move like that, that's you start giving gas. So, let's give you an example right now. So, I'm laying the clutch out, bike's starting to move, and then so I'm going to give it a little gas, and then as soon as it goes together, you can just let go. Just let go. I wish these cars would get the fuck out of the way. You're in the fucking way, dumbasses. But anyways, don't do that. What I just did right now. Um, so see, you can be freely. You can freely just. You don't have to clutch in or anything like that. You're just. You're cruising. Look, we're just cruising. We're going 90 miles an hour. We're cruising. Now to slow down, first gear, squeeze that, brake, and ah, we're coming to a nice little break. Nice little stop. Now once again, if you to go out again, we're still in first gear. We're still in first gear. Clutch out, friction zones engaged, give it a little gas. Once you're at a comfortable speed, let go. You're good. Now, this is gonna vary from bike to bike, just because this being a 750, um, it has a lot more torque and it's, it easily it engages a lot more easier than I would say maybe like a, I don't know, a 250, which probably you gotta give it a little more gas maybe. Now, to get to the fun part shifting gears now to shift gears before we take off to shift gears what you have to do is it's pretty simple it sounds complicated but once you do it it's simple now we're back in neutral again by the way see that's why we can let everything go we're back in neutral I did a half click up so we're back in neutral so to go back in first gear like I said squeeze kick this down bam there we go now to click up to an exit gear you have to basically let me show you. You basically have to clutch in, click up, and throttle out. Basically, it's like one, it's like clutch in, throttle up, or freaking kick up, shift up, and then throttle out. So it's basically like one, two, three, all in the same motion. So let me show you now. All right, so we're going again. Like I said, friction zone is out. Gas is engaged, so this is basically what you do. I'm gonna squeeze. I'm gonna do it really quick. Squeeze in, squeeze this in, and you're gonna kick up. So it's gonna be like a quick, like that. Oh shit! Go a little too fast there. So here's example number two. So like I said, we're going. Look, we're going. Nothing crazy. We're going. That's all we're doing. We're just going. We're still in first gear. Fuck! I just ran a stop sign. 
fuck it. We're gonna keep we're, we're gonna keep rolling with production. So okay, so squeeze in, kick up and throttle out. So like this. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now we're in second gear. Now we're in second gear. See that's how that works. That's how that works. Easy, simple. So if you guys want to see it one more time, we're gonna do a little loop de loop. Hey, relax, relax there, young one. Oh, can I make the turn? Oh, shit. Hey, Gilmore, you suck, you jackass. Not a professional, not a professional, not a professional. There we go. Here it is again. We started off, like I said, friction zone was let out and we engaged on gas, and now we're going. So, Basically, we're gonna do it again. Squeeze in, kick up, and throttle out. So, squeeze in, and do it nice and quick, like this, just like this. Just like that, that wasn't that quick, but just like that, basically, that's how you do it. A good thing to note, uh, an important thing to note, actually, when you're in first gear, which is what we're in right now, when you're in first gear, the only way you should be stopping is with this clutch and a little bit of your front brake just a little bit just a little bit but mainly with this in first gear first gear you should only be stopping with this and a little bit of this because I see people their first gear what will happen is they're barely moving and they'll hit the brake and then they'll be like oh and the bike will be oh and it'll fucking fall over fuck who's calling me god damn it ruining the production and like I said to stop all you gotta do look I'm off throttle squeeze that little bit of brake little bit of brake little bit of brake now this is the stop when you're first starting off I'll teach to stop later on but that's when you're first starting off is like that basically so like I said throttle out you a little bit of gas just a little bit of gas we're not, we're not we're not going crazy right now a little bit of gas and then once you feel the bike is going let go of the clutch come into a stop let go of the grass squeeze and slow down okay this is only if you're a beginner I'll teach you a way in another video of the proper way to slow down but this is for right now in this video all right now I think that'll conclude part one of this little how to ride tutorial hosted by your boy oh shouldn't say car throttle game